Identify the x and y intercepts of the line y is equal to 3x minus 9. Then graph the line. So the x-intercept, I'll just abbreviate it as x-int, that is where the line intersects the x-axis. So where it intersects the x-axis. Remember, this horizontal axis is the x-axis. So when something intersects the x-axis, what do we know about its coordinate? Its x value could be anything, but we know its y value is 0. If we're intersecting, if we're sitting on the x-axis, axis someplace, that means that we haven't moved in the y direction. That means that y is 0. So this means, literally, that y is 0. So we need to find the x value defined by this relationship when y is equal to 0. Similarly, when we talk about the y-intercept, I'll do it down here. When we talk about the y-intercept, what does that mean? Well, y-intercept means, so this is the y-axis right over here running up and down. The y-intercept is the point at which the line intercepts the y-axis. So what's going on? If we're at the y-axis, our y value could be anything, depending on where we intersect the y-axis. But we know that we haven't moved to the right or the left. We know that our x value is 0 at the y-intercept. So over here, our x value is going to be 0. And to find the actual point, we just have to find the corresponding y value defined by this relationship or this equation. So let's do the first one first. The x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. So we set y is equal to 0, and then we'll solve for x. So we get 0 is equal to 3x minus 9. We can add 9 to both sides of this equation to isolate the x term. So we get 9 is equal to 3x. These cancel out. We could divide both sides by 3. Divide both sides by 3. We get 3 is equal to x, or x is equal to 3. So the point y is equal to 0, x is equal to 3 is on this line. And let me put it in order. x coordinate always goes first, so it's 3 comma 0. So this is the origin. 1, 2, 3 is right over here. That is 3 comma 0. This right here is the x-intercept. And remember, notice, we are in that point lies on the x-axis, but the y value is 0. We haven't moved up or down. When you think x-intercept, you say, OK, that means my y value is 0. So I have to solve for the x value. Now we do the opposite for the y-intercept. In the y-intercept, we're sitting on this line. x value must be 0. So let's figure out what y is equal to when x is equal to 0. So y is equal to, I want to do that pink color. y is equal to. Y is equal to 3 times x is 0 now. 3 times 0 minus 9. Well, 3 times 0 is just 0. So 0 minus 9, well, that's just equal to negative 9. So we have the point 0 comma negative 9. So when x, x is 0, we go down 9 for y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So right there is the point. 0, comma, negative 9. Notice it sits on the y-axis. That's why it's the y-intercept. And the x value is 0. We haven't moved to the left or the right. All you need is two points for a line, so we're now ready to graph. We essentially just have to connect the dots. So it's going to look something like this. It's going to look something, our line. I don't have a good line tool, so I'm going to try my best to draw it nicely. It is going to look something. Something like that. And you just keep going. You just keep going. You want to do a straight line. So it just keeps going on and on and on like that. It just keeps it just keeps going. And I could keep going all the way in that direction and then but then my line doesn't look as straight all of a sudden. I think you get the general idea. I could keep going like that and then keep going like that. I don't have a nice ruler to do it with. And we're done.